Uh, my first question is, uh, what was your most embarrassing moment? Most embarrassing moment in hockey? Yeah. Or, geez, I don't know. Um, tough one. Maybe skating around with a hanger in my jersey still or something <laughs> like that. Yeah. Um, how did you become an NHL player? How did I become? Uh, something growing up I always dreamed of doing and uh, was able to play on some really good teams growing up and I was able to get drafted. I played junior in Seattle and I got drafted here to San Jose and was able to make the team when I was 18. Thank you. What was your most embarrassing moment? In life? Uh, yeah. Or in hockey? <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. My most embarrassing moment. Um, I don't know. That's many. I don't. I can't. Can't think of one just now. Okay. Um. What? How did you become a hockey player? Um. My two older brothers were hockey players, and being the younger brother, you just kind of follow what your older brothers do. So, I. Uh, I played hockey. So that's the reason. Nice. Hi, um, I was wondering, what was your most embarrassing moment? <laughs> I have one about one a day, so uh, it'd be tough to narrow it down. But uh, I think when you're skating down the ice, anytime you trip and fall and there's no one around you, it, uh, it can get quite embarrassing. Okay. Uh, how do you become an NHL player? You know, it's funny. I never started till I was nine years old. Uh, I went down to a couple friends' house and. Uh, they weren't home. Their, their parents said they were out back playing on the pond. Uh, growing up in Canada, that's uh, what a lot of kids do. So I ended up going out to the pond, uh, getting a pair of skates, and it took off after that. Thank you. Right down there. What was your most embarrassing moment? Most embarrassing moment as yeah. a hockey player? Um, yeah. One of them's probably scoring a goal and then going to celebrate and falling down. <laughs> you know, everyone's looking at you and then you just, you just fell down. Uh, How did you become a hockey player? Um, older brother played. I think he's. Uh, a few years older, and he, he built a ice rink in the backyard. And my parents, and just you know, you want to do everything your older brother does. And... Thanks. What was your most embarrassing moment? Most embarrassing moment? I uh, I fell down the bleachers my freshman year in high school <laughs> at the homecoming game in front of all the all the cheerleaders and everything. So. How did you become a hockey player? My uh, dad took me to a college game back in Alaska, and I uh, just fell in love with it and uh, started to play. Thanks. What was your most embarrassing moment? Some of the guys would probably say some of my outfits, but uh, <laughs> my most embarrassing, uh, probably a couple, a couple of my passes, though, those uh, couple bad ones. It's never fun when you, when you uh, do that. How'd you become a hockey player? I think I was, uh, just always since, since I was one and a half, I've been skating, and it's kind of always been in my blood, I think. Thanks. What was your most embarrassing moment? My most embarrassing moment? Yeah. Uh, can't, can't say that on, on <laughs> Okay. Um, how, uh, how'd you become a hockey player? Uh, my grandfather was a hockey player, so it was natural. Thank you. Uh, what was your most embarrassing moment? Most embarrassing moment? That's tough. Um, well, how did you become a hockey? Probably, player? probably just, just some some bad goal. Oh, okay. Can't I can't remember one right now. Okay. Um. What? Would, how did you become a hockey player? I played soccer first, and all my buddies played hockey too, so it was obvious I would start playing hockey. Too. Thank you. What was your most embarrassing moment? Most embarrassing moment I ever had doing play-by-play -play was when I called a goal that didn't go in. Okay. Um, how'd you become a play-by-play? A -play? 
I started play-by-play -play announcing in college when I went to St. Lawrence University, which is a great university that has a Division I hockey program, and it's really interesting. I got on the air by accident. Basically, I walked up to the man who was doing the play-by-play -play and said, I wanted to learn from you, and he said, great, call on a tape, and we'll analyze your tape and see if you're any good. Maybe you'll get a chance to do a game later in the year. Well, as it turned out, the games were being broadcast on an NPR station, National Public Radio, so there were no commercials. And what ended up happening was it was an intermission. I was in the broadcast booth calling the game into a tape, just waiting to get analyzed. And the gentleman that I talked to came up to me and said, you need to do this interview with this gentleman right now on the radio. And I said, well, why? Aren't you going to do it? And he, do it? And he said, no. He said, I, I can't do the interview. And I said, why not? And he said, because I have to go to the bathroom. So you're on the air right now in 20 seconds. There you are. That's how it all started.